know who's eating my son's socks. But when I find you, you will be dealt with accordingly. Okay, Whole Foods. Everybody getting groceries this early? I don't believe it. And I don't know about y'all, but under this hoodie, it ain't number the bra. Me getting off of intermittent fasting for those three days and then getting back on actually helped me because I feel like I'm really, I'm really, I'm really doing better for myself. I'm not the type of parent that feel like you a kid, so don't say shit to me. Just deal with uh what the fuck I do, and that's the reason why a lot of you motherfuckers don't have no good relationships with your kids as adults. feel like every time I get in here, I can't never get a good angle. It's okay. Hey y'all, welcome to the vlog. It is, what is the day? The 28th, Tuesday the 28th. I'm currently in Lowe's parking lot putting my boots on because I had to rush out the house so I wore some different shoes. Um, We're gonna look at some plants. I know, I know. Here again. Um, My life is full of repetition and relaxation and I like it like that. This I love this tripod, but every time I put this tripod on my camera, I also have a U-Rig um, cage that's on my camera. Every time I put it on my camera, make my cage loose. I rushed out the house, forgot my coat, cause I'm thinking, I was hoping my coat was in the car. It's not, it was still in my room. So now I'm out here in 26 degree weather with a goddamn hoodie on. And I don't know about y'all, but under this hoodie, it ain't number the bra. It ain't number the bra. The Hulk. The Hulk is out. Hopefully I get great parking spaces every place I go because otherwise, place is gonna get skipped today because I got no goddamn coat. Hey y'all, so I am out of Lowe's. I ain't take y'all in because we done been to Lowe's a bunch of times. I did find a couple plants that I liked. I'll show y'all when I get to the house. Now I gotta go to Whole Foods to drop this package off and then I gotta go to Best Buy because my baby's game controller that came with this PS5 is not working anymore. Yeah, so real quick, I'm back. I'm back, but I'm driving. So my son turned 10 and it's like now all of a sudden, everything I do hurts his feelings. So yesterday, I'm like, you know, I get his school stuff together. So I'm like, okay, where your sweater at? He left his sweater at school. I'm like, okay. Now for trip on you about your sweater, where your lunchbox at so I can make your lunch. He left his lunchbox at school. Was I mad? No. Was I frustrated? Yes. He's like, oh, I must have left it at school. Well, that's two things I left at school. I'm like, oh, so you don't give a fuck. You don't give a fuck? The Hulk out here in your sweater at school and you don't give a fuck? He don't tell me that I yelled at him yesterday and he and he ended up crying himself to sleep because I yelled at him yesterday. First of all, I didn't yell at him. When I found out that his ass didn't have his sweater, he was at the top of the damn stairs. I said, Aiden, I said, Aiden, go to bed. And if I would've said, Aiden, go to bed, he wouldn't have heard that. He wouldn't have heard that. Cause you at the top of like 15 fucking stairs. So because I raised my voice, to tell you go to bed I yelled at you and you cried yourself to sleep the shit is getting ridiculous now so I'm like please talk to me me and my son have a have a very good relationship I'm not a soft parent but I do soft parenting now there are times where I got to get a little stern we don't do no corporal punishment and nothing like that because my child is not like that now there are some kids that I do feel they don't respond to shit but an ass whooping. My son is not one of them. You can talk to him. As y'all hear from the story, you could raise your voice at him and he'd be like, bitch, you never loved me. So it don't take much to correct him. It just don't. I, I'm, I'm lucky like that. I hope that it continues throughout his life because that part of him is easy. But it's like getting to know these new parts. My mother can't help me you know with certain stuff but at the same time she'd be like i don't know what the fuck his problem is i don't be we don't be we don't be knowing we don't be knowing point back period period we don't be fucking knowing okay whole foods everybody getting groceries this early i don't believe it i don't believe it god damn i barely got in here so i'm like 
every day? Am I gonna have to deal with you suppressing shit? I don't like that suppressing shit. That shit make you sick. And all of that, you too damn young to be sitting up here mad at somebody holding grudges and shit. That shit is weird. And I don't like it. So yeah, he, he kind of... He threw me off today. I told him, I said, you keep coming around me with that badass energy, I'm put your ass on the school bus. If you have that badass energy with them. I, I my, my positivity stays up high. I don't let nobody bring my shit down, including my son. So he got his stuff together. Um, I told myself, talk to me. Talk. To, you tell me any other time mama you was yelling at me, tell, talk to me. I'm not the type of parent that feel like, you a kid so don't say shit to me just deal with uh what the fuck i do and that's the reason why a lot of you motherfuckers don't have no good relationships with y'all kids as adults because y'all treat y'all kids like possessions i don't treat my son like a possession i treat my son like a person so if i hurt his feelings he is comfortable enough with me to let me know that i hurt his feelings which is why i didn't understand why the hell he didn't do that last night but that's neither here nor there i'm gonna take this bullshit back y'all so i'm on my way into aldi's i'm actually in the parking lot so we finna go re-up on this fruit if i'm going to aldi's y'all going to aldi's we going to aldi's together today so y'all saw the stuff that i got from all these is like 20 dollars worth of fruit i put that up already but yesterday i know i went to lowe's but i ain't show y'all what i got from lowe's well i did but i didn't like the footage anywho so this is the first plant you guys it's a really nice ceramic pot that it comes in i don't know what kind of plant this is i'm gonna have to take a picture and put it in google so i can see how to take care of it because it don't have the tag information, but this is the first one. I love when they come with like this little hook thing. So this is the next plant that I got you guys. It also comes in a ceramic vase and it does have this little part. The little hook part is gone, but I think it's in a bag somewhere. So this is some type of pothos, I do believe. It's not, it didn't have a tag either. I have a plant that's like this but it doesn't have many leaves on it that's just how it how it is so i wanted to get one that was fuller to kind of add to it so this is the second plant that i got from lowe's clearance the third plant that i got from lowe's clearance is this low light loving beauty i do not know how to pronounce the name so let me show you guys that's the name that's the care for it. They claim it's fancy and carefree. We shall see. So those are the three plants that I got. This one is so beautiful. Every time I've seen it in, in uh, at Lowe's, I never got it. I don't think they ever had it on clearance though. So like I said, all these plants are on clearance. How Cole's clearance works is if it's above $15, it's half off. All of these were about above $15. So they was all half off. So like for instance, this one was $20. And 48 cents originally so it was ten dollars on clearance you know like that and the total came up to be for all three of these plants it was 29.13 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so yesterday i also ended up purchasing this 
which is the Volcanic Red PS5 DualSense controller. This is for my son. Um, the white one that came with his PS5, it's like glitching. He has two controllers. He has the other red one that's kind of like a burgundy, but I saw that this one was coming out or this one had come out and I'm like, oh, he would really like this because this is more of like a ready red. Even though he already took it out the box and it's not as red as I, with, as red as I thought it would be, but it's more red and light but whatever so i got this from best buy it was it was originally 79.99 but i got it on cyber monday so it was 49.99 yesterday i ended up breaking my fast with subway i had footage of all of this but i ain't like how i looked in the footage so i'm like i'm gonna do it over today so that's me doing this is me doing it over today so from walmart i don't know who's eating my son's socks but when I find you, you will be dealt with accordingly. So I ended up buying him some more socks from Walmart. These was like $7 a pack. These little boys crew socks. They had a lot of ankle socks. I'm like, it's winter time. Don't nobody want no damn ankle socks in Chicago. So I got him in white and black because he don't have no more black. Don't even get me started on that. Because I, I don't know what this boy doing with his socks. But y'all, I also, if y'all... If y'all too good for this, then y'all too good for this. But I ain't too good for this. So, I love me a good Walmart bra. Love me a good Walmart bra. So, for the big, for the big chest girlies, this right here is very unique for us. We normally get black, white, beige. They had this bra in all different types of colors. As you can see, they come in large sizes. So... I was really pleased with this. They say it's a push-up bra. We'll see. We'll see. So they had it in this color. They had it in pink. They had it in baby blues. They had it in so many different colors. $10. Ten dollars. I fucks with a ten dollar bra. And I will say the bra that I have on right now is a ten dollar bra. And I done had this bra for a little bit and it's still very good. It still hold me up good, still hold the girls up good. Girls hold holding up. Yeah, holding up good. Good enough. Good enough. So I got it in this color. But then I also because when you a big chest girl, you just kind of get used to the basics. So I also did get it in black. I want to get too many because I want to see like what it what is hitting on, but it is underwire. You got bigger chest. If you don't like underwire or not, you you got to get you an underwire, or you might as well just get used to your boobs being at your knees. And we don't want that, not for 2023 or no other year. So these are the two bras, my two ten dollar bras that I got from Walmart. Very pleased with these. I'm gonna try these on later, and then I'll let y'all know how it feels. I'm not gonna show y'all because. We're not there yet. We're, we're not there yet. We're just really not. I got a comment from um, someone who watched one of my other videos. And, asked, and she asked for like a hair care routine. Y'all. I think people think now. Three people. Two people asked me today. Was this all my hair? It is not all my hair y'all. This is Marley hair. I know. I know. Please don't unsubscribe. Please don't unsubscribe because I'm working on it. I'm working to get my hair to this point. We're not quite there yet. But I'm working on getting my hair to this point because this is my hair texture. It's 4C all day long to me. But no, guys, this is not all my hair. This is Marley hair. The braid is mine. And I actually stopped above where my hair stops just so that the hair could lay the way that I wanted it to lay. But... I gotta respond to her comment and I'm like, if you subscribe, don't unsubscribe because of that. Cause look, let me tell you, let me tell you something. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a grow it out. And then when I do grow it out and get it to where I want it to be, then I'm gonna do a hair thing. Cause then I'm gonna be like, I can tell y'all, I can tell y'all some things or two. But right now we're, we're faking it to make it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Alexa, what time is it? It's 1045. It's 1045. I won't break my fast till noon. I'm fine. I dry fast. I know I probably say this every video, but maybe I cut it out. So I'm back intermittent fasting. I did not intermittent fast the 24th, 25th, or 26th. Because, oh, I was going to eat. I was eating. And if I wanted to, and I was on my cycle, 
and I was on my cycle, Thanksgiving couldn't have failed at a better time this year because I had already planned to not intermittent fast during Thanksgiving so that I could get my grub on. But then my cycle came and I'm like, absolutely, let me get a piece of pie. And I want some banana pudding after that. And I want some dress. I want all of the fixings. All of the fixings. So I indulged. Now I'm back on my intermittent fasting grind. Did it take anything for me to get back on it? No. Was I hungry when I was like, okay, today we're not eating till noon? No. My body is still very much so cool with just going back into intermittent fasting. So up until 12, what I have started to do, I used to drink a liter of water when I got up. But now what I do is I dry fast until noon. So like my mouth is hella dry right now. And most people are like, well, you should drink some water. I'm just what I know. I'm just what I know. Yeah. So I dry fast and I feel like that's kind of helping. Because look, because y'all not seeing the, the vision. Let me pull, pull my leggings up. Look at this. Look at this. Y'all, what? 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 This? This was, this was out here. What? What the booty do? Uh, not much, but it's all right. It's all right. So you see this? Uh, dry fasting. And I also feel like me getting off of intermittent fasting for those three days and then getting back on actually helped me because I feel like I'm really, I'm really, I'm really doing better for myself. That's how I feel. This little part right here pissing me off because I'm paranoid. I'm like, is this fat? And I just haven't lost enough weight yet? Or is this saggy skin? I don't know. But we're going to go when I ain't lost enough weight yet. Because I be damned. I don't want no turkey neck. Anybody out there with a turkey neck that's fine with a turkey neck? More power to you. But me personally, I don't want no turkey neck. Another side note. I think I'm going to put my nails down some. I do like the length. But come find out my nails been popping off. Because I won't put enough glue on them. Because before they was when I was when I was putting the glue on the way that I was putting the glue on, everybody's like, you don't put glue on like that. But then when I went back to putting glue on like that, they we working, we're on three days. Normally, day two, one would have popped off by now. We on we on day three. And baby, these is they're solid. Solid as a rock. Oh, oh that's what I don't even know the words. We gonna make it up. That's what this world is, and baby, it's so. <laughs> Y'all know the people that do this. The ex what's that exercise when they be like? Sometimes I'll be wanting to do it just to see what it do, but then I'll be like, I just feel it in my legs, so I don't really know if it's gonna do what it needs to do. I don't know. We gonna keep intermittent fasting. I know I got my yoga bar. Have I used my yoga bar yet? No. Do I plan on using it? Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do plan on using it. It's a damn net in here. I'm convinced they're coming for the plants. I got some neem oil. I'm going to spray on it, but I'm really waiting for us to have like a pretty decent day so I can open up these windows because that neem oil, it smells like ass. I don't even know what better way to put it. It smell like ass. It do what it's supposed to do, but it probably makes the gnats go away because it smell like ass. And YouTube, stop playing with me with my shorts, okay? Because I'm coming with the shorts. I'm doing the best that I can right now. I'm getting better every day. Every damn day, I'm getting better. So stop playing with me with my shorts. Y'all really did good with the shorts today, so let me stop. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying them last two shorts, y'all ain't have to do me like that. Y'all don't have to do me like that, okay? If y'all haven't liked, commented, and subscribed yet, or at least subscribed and liked, why y'all doing me like that? Why y'all doing me like that? I'm five foot eleven, representing for my tall girlies in the world. Oh, I should do a haul. I should do like a fashion haul, cause I got some shit to put on. I just don't be putting it on, cause I'm an introvert. And I don't really go nowhere. That's why I keep going to the same stores. But that's, that's neither here nor there. But I'm representing for the tall girls in the world. We going up. We going up. And we ain't never stopping. We ain't never stopping. I might start doing a series called 
sitting up in my room because that's where i be a lot of the times especially during the daytime i'm staying home mom mm -hmm. get into it get into it get into it like how you stay at home mom you're not married mind your business thank you